in the spirit of the Lord, and we are thanking God that we have the thirst for the presence of the living God. Today, I want you to turn with me to the 91st Psalm. We are going to celebrate the secret place of the Most High. As we are in this journey together, fulfilling the destiny of God in our life, I pray for you every day. Ephesians 1, 16, down through the end, then Ephesians 3, where we bow our knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of the whole family, and heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his Spirit in your inner man, that Christ would dwell in your hearts by faith, that you, being rooted and grounded with lo in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height and know the love of Christ that passes knowledge. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask or think according to the power that works in us, to him be glory in the church, world without end. Amen and amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand together for your precious saints today, that you give them revelatory knowledge, that you crest through and break through the emotional, mental frustration barriers and bring forth the fulfillment of your destiny and peace. And we give you praise, Lord, for the love and the mercy of your spirit that is ever present and manifested in us. And God, we ask you, today to so move in us that every principality, power, might, dominion, every name that is named would know through us, through the manifold wisdom of God, that they bow to us, that we are in principality and rule over all power of the air, that we, in Christ Jesus, have absolute authority. And so, as we take this journey into the 91st Psalm, I want you to settle in your spirit he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Where is the secret place of the Most High? Where is the abiding place where the Holy Spirit, 1 John declares that you have the anointing that abides in you and need not that any man teaches you but as the same anointed teaches you of all things and is true even as he teaches you you shall abide in him that secret place is in the presence of the living christ indwelling your heart you have him you live in him let that abiding recognition for he that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust. Let your voice be outspoken when it comes to the King of glory. Say of the Lord, he is your refuge, he is your fortress, he's your God and in him you trust. Let your voice be heard both in your own ears, because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God as you meditate on the word, and into the annals of the enemy that you manifest the manifested wisdom of God and speak to the principalities and powers of the air that wisdom of God. And creation needs to hear your voice. And man needs to know that you trust in the Lord with all your heart, you lean not on your own understanding. In all of your ways, you acknowledge him, for he will direct your paths. It says, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. How is God going to deliver you from the snare of the enemy that has studied man since the fall of Adam? How is God going to deliver you from what Humanity has fallen prey to in allurement and sin, and yet you have God who has now fathered you, and you are under the Father of all spirits, and he is your deliverer. He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler. Whether it snared you or it's set for you, he'll deliver you. Sometimes we get delivered having been snared, 
Sometimes we get delivered before we get snared. But one thing's for sure, he delivers you from the snare of the fowler and from the overwhelming pestilence of the enemy that wants to assign against us. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings thou shalt trust. His truth shall be your shield and your buckler. You'll find your nature, your name, your identity found in truth. You'll find that your ways are pleasing unto the Lord and you delight in him with your whole heart. He'll cover you with the very wings of his presence and there's healing in his wings. I pray today the spirit of God just heals and restores everything the enemy has stolen, the years the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar has stolen. I'm watching today financial destructions that have been assigned against you. And today I declare to you by the power of the name of Jesus, today and now is your day of deliverance. This day is your day of breakthrough. Today is a day of freedom. Today is a day of peace, a day of power, a day of grace. And so it says, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day. It doesn't mean that there's not terror in the night season. It doesn't say that arrows don't fly. It says, thou shalt not be afraid. That you'll walk in the valley of the shadow of death, you'll fear no evil. You'll bring down everything that is assigned and aligned against you because you are the most impregnable fortress of God who has put you on this earth for his delivering grace and showing forth his power and wisdom. So fear not, this day is a day of supernatural anointing and breakthroughs in your walk in the spirit. It says, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. Whether it is in the darkness or it's in the sunlight, no matter how destruction has been set up to work against you, whether it has been by fault and failure of your own frustration or by an assignment totally aligned only to the kingdom of darkness without any participation with you, you are the delivered of the Lord. You shall not only not fear, but you shall not walk in the destruction nor the waster that is by noonday. A thousand shall fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, and it shall not come nigh you. A thousand fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, and it won't even come close. It won't come close. It won't come close. No. No. It says, only with thine eye shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. You'll see that God is a God of deliverance, that God has turned the captivity backwards on the kingdom of darkness and given you a triumph where you can raise your voice with a high herald of victory in the name of Jesus because God has done something. And that is because you have made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, your habitation. Listen, because you have made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, your habitation. You see, Dwell in the presence of the Spirit of the Lord and let a high hand of victory be your portion. Dwell in the presence of the Spirit of the Lord and truth shall be your banner. Dwell in the presence of the Spirit of the Lord and your enemies shall bow before you even as you enter the gates of your next decision and pathway of freedom in fulfillment of destiny. Yea, dwell in the presence of the Lord and you shall have a breastplate of righteousness and you shall be able to quench every fiery dart of the wicked one by the shield of faith and the sword, the word of the Lord, out of your mouth shall cause the enemy to bow and sever from his attachment, attraction, and alignment with your life. So fear nothing in these days for the spirit of the Lord and your habitation that you have with him is now abiding. Oh, my father, I thank you for victory. 
I thank you for the presence of your power. I thank you for the triumph of your nature. I thank you for you, God, being our habitation. It says, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. You've been delivered from every vile force of the enemy that is assigned against you. You have been given the power to have no evil befall you and no plague come nigh your dwelling. For he's given his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. The messengers of God who expedite everything that God has spoken regarding you, who God who watches over his word to perform it has come to abide in you in mighty power because you who dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. It says, Thou shalt, he shall bear you up in your hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. The angels of the Lord have supernatural capacity to bring forth deliverance and power in your life. You the cared for, you the beloved, you the impassioned by God. Yea, you shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shall trample under your feet. Oh, my God, there's a triumph over everything that's come up against you. You are treading on serpents and scorpions over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you because you have set your love upon me. Therefore, will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known by name. This is Psalm 91, verse 15. And he shall call upon me, and I will answer him. And I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him and honor him. You may be in a situation today where trouble appears on all sides, but fear not, the Lord thy God is with thee. He is helping you. He is strengthening you. He is upholding you with a right hand of his righteousness. You know, the Spirit of God is doing a work that is supernatural in this day. And as we understand it, as we walk in it, there is a comprehension of the grace of God that is designed for us. It says, Isaiah chapter 58, verse 10, it says, if you draw out your soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall your light arise in obscurity and thy darkness shall be as a noonday. You see, as you make the Lord your refuge, as you make him your strong tower, as he is your solace, as your security and your safety, my God, he answers you in trouble and delivers you, and God will honor you. It says in verse 16, with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. This God that we serve is a God of miracles. God has stirred up my spirit in these days to say to you that this is a time you who identify in the personal presence of the living God you who identify with the awesome anointing that abides within you, that is true and is no lie, even as he has kept you in himself, so the enemy has no power over you. For he that is begotten of God keeps himself, and the enemy, the wicked one, touches him not. Yes, yes, this Isaiah 58, verse 10, your darkness will be as a noonday. This Psalm 91, now I'm going to read through all at one time. I let, let the word just wash over you. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings thou shalt trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night nor the arrow that flieth by day nor the pestilence that walketh in the darkness nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. 
A thousand shall fall at thy side, 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, your habitation. Oh, my Father, I bless you. There shall no evil befall you, neither shall any plague come nigh your dwelling. For he has given his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, and thou shalt, and thou, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder and the young lion and the dragon. Thou shalt trample them under feet, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 91, a tremendous anthem of the, the life of Christ within us, the, the habitation of God that is among men. I want you to lift up your hands and hearts to the Lord as we, we come into this time of exaltation and magnifying the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Spirit of the living God, so manifest yourself in your body today. I pray that whatever the enemy has worked in his works of deviant destruction and deception, I speak in the name of Jesus, everything that's in darkness, you're exposed. I declare, Father, every false motivation in humanity reveals itself so that we can see with a discerning eye and operate with a step ordained of God that is pleasing unto you, Father. God, use us with a mighty arm of strength. Use us with a mighty voice of authority. Use us with grace that abounds toward those that hear. Use our life as a testimony to the world that you, Jesus, are alive from the dead. And I pray for my brothers, my sisters today that you strengthen them. You strengthen them. I speak strength in the name of Jesus. I speak strength in the name of Jesus. I declare every weakness strengthened. I declare every frailty strong. I declare the leg strong. I declare the muscle strong. I command the heart strong. I command the brain strong. I speak to the resilient resolve strong in the name of Jesus. And Father, I bless the great increase of your grace upon their lives. And I give you thanks today, Lord, for partnership, for brothers and sisters that stand together with us in this hour. And God, so stand in their faith, so stand in their conviction that they give unreservedly. Father, that their hearts are opened to worship you with the first fruits of all their increase, that they worship you with the first tenth of all that you put into their hands, that God, you are able to rebuke the devourer for their sake. You are able to open the windows of heaven over their life. You are able to cause our fruit never to be cast before its time in the field. You are able to make all nations call us blessed. And we give you praise, Lord, for the anointing that abides on us, that as we give unto you, Lord, today, we worship you in our giving. We honor you for the great grace of God that is poured out in the seed and on the sower in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. You see, worship is not just singing songs of adoration and a sacrifice of praise. It's also our giving are blessing the living God. So make sure today you take that time between you and the Father and present your sacrifices, present your love gifts, present your tithes into the hands of the Lord and watch God do what he does best and that is be God to you. These Psalms were written by David in times of great crisis and tribulation and he knew the God in whom he trusted. 
And that's why he said, Lord, remember all my sacrifices. And I pray God honors every seed you sow. And we want to get on the phone call today and talk about Psalm 91. Talk about what inspires you in that psalm. Talk about what snare the enemy has set up to try to destroy you with and how God is here with the body of Christ to deliver you. So I want you to give us a call right now. In America, get on your phone call at 302-561-6767. America is 302-561-6767. In Canada, 709-500-6767. Canada, 709-500-6767. We want to hear from you today. And don't forget, men, Saturday morning, 8 a.m., is our manpower, our supernatural awakening time for men in a grace that is going to transform their lives. Be here with us right here in Newcastle, Delaware. God bless. See you tomorrow, Lord willing.